Hello everybody, welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at the USS Benson. I hope you guys like that little clip I had in there, but it's been getting a lot of love on Xbox Live lately. People have been liking it a lot, so I thought you guys would enjoy it here on the channel. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the Tier 6 Tech Tree Destroyer for the United States Navy, the Benson, as you guys know. And yeah, we'll look at the uh, upgrades and loadout now. We have Aiming Systems Mod 1. We have Propulsion Mod 2. And we have, if we were to put on an upgrade, we'd either go between the two top ones right there. So you guys can pick. Um, I'd go between concealment or steering. Either one of those would be fine. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the loadout now. We have HE shells. These load every f almost two seconds, three seconds. They're very fast. And you guys will see a lot of that in this gameplay. A AP, pretty decent. If you can get broadsides on cruisers, you could smack the crap out of them. So it's not going to happen this game, but you guys can do that. Um, torpedoes, they actually go out to 9 kilometers. That means I can actually stealth torp in the ship, which is very nice. But they don't do a lot of damage, and they're very slow, so that's quite unfortunate. Damage con, don't need to worry about that. Um, smoke generator, they last about 2 minutes each, and, you know, they're American, so they're the best in the game. We have engine boost, pretty standard, nothing special about that. And then we have the early adopter flag as well. And uh, if we were to put on a camo, we're probably actually going to put this one on for the battle. Um, probably the Type 1, so we get the extra concealment down. Which isn't going to help us much this match, unfortunately. Um, actually, I think we do take it off, but uh, yeah, because we're going to be firing our guns a bunch. But um, we have Survival Buddy with 17,000 hit points. Um, artillery, we have 5 5 inch guns. They reload every 3.2 seconds, and yeah, they, they're very good indeed. Um, for torpedoes, we have uh, two launchers, each one of them carrying 5 torpedoes. They launch out to 9 kilometers, like we said. Maneuverability, it's decent. It's a destroyer. Not too much to get into that. And then for our concealment, it's not the best because we are a gunboat build. Keep that in mind. So we'll be getting outspotted a lot in this game. Mode, in this game. Armor, not that important. It's a destroyer. You're not going to be wanting to take hits in any destroyer, even the Americans, even in a gunboat. So we're not going to really get into it too much, but we got about 20 millimeters. We have extended smoke on here. We have reloader, and we have sluggish shot. So yeah, it's a very fun destroyer indeed. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys over in the gameplay. Enjoy. Alright, so here we are. We're going to be in the USS Benson on Trident. Now, let me just say that this map, um, it's a pretty, you know, it's a fun map to play. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. But let me just say, this is probably, this is basically, if you guys know throughout the whole American line, from Tier 4 all up to Tier 7, they play very similar, very similarly. I can't say that word today. Dang, but yeah, these American gunboats, the guns are pretty much the same throughout the whole entire line. Just the only thing different is with the Tier 6 and the 7, not the Kid, but the, the Benson and the Fletcher, your torpedoes can actually extend your range. You can also get that on the Kid, but it's not by a huge amount. You're not going to really want to be torp a lot in the Kid. You're going to want to be getting your guns off on destroyers, taking them out, do what you got to do. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to be looking at the Fuso here, and uh, yeah, the Fuso is just going to be coming towards us and... Uh, we're just trying to sail out in front and see if we can spot any DDs, and we will eventually get uh, we will eventually get into a position where we can take some shots at some destroyers. So look forward to that. Um, keep in mind that the Benson um, it's it's probably not like the you know I still prefer probably the Kid, but it it still can gunfight. Don't get me wrong, but the reason why is the Kid has a little bit more HP on my build. But yeah, basically these all these destroyers are very similar in the uh, gun department. But everything else, yeah, the, the Benson is better than torpedoing and stuff, but Okay, so another Benson pops up, and look where we're about to do this Benson. I believe he's trying to get his torps off, so he's not really wanting to shoot us yet. And, you know, I never do that. I never launch my torpedoes at another destroyer unless I know I'm screwed, and if I know I'm dead, then I do. But I usually know I'm pretty confident in any any American destroyer that I can win a gunfight with them. And look what we do to this guy. Look at him. He's already lost all of his health up to this point. And there we go. We get a first, first blood award, and we do manage to take him down. We only lose about a, a few hundred hit points from that whole engagement, and we take all of his hit points. 11,000 health off him. See ya, buddy. Go back to port. Now, we're going to be sailing out to the Fuso here, hopefully to get some torpedoes off on him. And uh, we're, we're hesitating to open fire here because we you know we love them gun hits. We're looking at the torp range here, and uh, we figure out it's 9.2 again. Sometimes I forget, but... um. Yeah, it didn't take me long to get a decent match in the ship. Because, like I said, I have a lot of experience with these American gunboats, so it doesn't really take me that long to get a good match in them. Because I'm, I'm actually fairly experienced. So, yeah, we're gonna be sailing out. Notice that we turn around because the Fuso looks to be wanting to go forward. So we're gonna intercept him and hopefully line up a good torp strike on him and get some good hits in there, and uh, which we will. Now, notice a uh, looks like a 
maybe another battleship or a cruiser just sp- got spotted and he's hit, hit, sitting out there minding his own, his own business and he's not really looking over here for any you know problems so we're good on that department notice we fire some torpedoes right on target and then we fire one more a little bit behind right about there just in case he slows down a lot and just look how many torpedoes are going out there now keep in mind they're very slow but they um they do do what they got to do okay um so the one problem I have with the Benson is the detectability if you're using a gunboat. I Earlier, I was up against a Lightning, and I was getting outspotted by a Lightning. I still managed to stay alive and, you know, do a bunch of stuff, but I almost I almost freaking died. So keep that in mind. I almost got torped by him. But that's the one problem. Only really, the concealment and maybe the maneuverability could be a little bit bad, but everything else, these American gunboats, if it's your play style, they're very fun. Um, and... Unfortunately, they're my playstyle. I really enjoy playing them. Notice we're up at 33,000 damage, and we're just going to keep daka daka dacking. Now, keep in mind, I picked up the Fletcher today. I managed to get the credits to buy it, and let me just say, there may or may not be a video coming in the future on it, but um, you guys, if you want, put in the comments down below what ship you might want to see. I got all the American Tier 7s now. Uh, tech Tree, I mean. I got all the American Tech Tree Tier 7s. So any, any ship you have in mind, just put it in the chat, and I'll look forward to it. Um... But yeah, notice we are setting some fires here on the Fuso, and the Fuso is just not much long for this world. And unfortunately, I do believe we get the kill yoinked by our teammate in the Fiji. He's going to do that a lot this game. He's going to do that a couple more times, once or twice more. And it's quite unfortunate, but that's just how it is. Um, uh, yeah, but notice the Byron's out here. We're opening fire on him, and our range, too, is actually decent. It's almost 11 kilometers on the Fletcher I actually have 11 kilometers but yeah it's it's really really fun to play and I really do enjoy the Benson now we're just gonna keep opening fire here we're gonna keep getting those HE shells out there and we're just gonna keep farming this guy and there's really not gonna be much he can do about it and uh, it's just a really really enjoyable match indeed so yeah so keep in mind also that really there's nobody that can stop me from doing this either even if the buyer managed to detect me, he's just not going to be able to do much because, you know, I, I know how to kite and I know how to slow down. And I'm learning also how to be really decent at it as well. Like, you know, stop and slow down and just learn how to freaking avoid shots for getting fired. I mean, I'm getting pretty good at it. So, but yeah, it's, it's really enjoyable and this ship's very fun to play. And I'm just doing a little 360 view. You guys can see just all the guns going off and it's, it's really, really, really freaking fun, dude. And uh, notice we're spotted here. So we're going to pull forward and try to, you know get out of harm's way if anybody's shooting at us so we're just going to keep up the daka dacking we're just not going to stop firing and we're never going to stop firing unless we're either dead or he's dead either one dude we just never stop firing that's the thing when i'm in an american gunboat fear me i'm not going to be stealth torp as much i'm going to use my guns 70 percent of the time so if you're in a battleship you see me out in the waves fear me i will i will shoot the hell out of you until you either die or i die so yeah so just you know be wary of that but when i'm in my american gunboats I'm constantly firing. I usually never stop firing when I'm in this thing. Um, if I see a ship, I'm going to open fire on it. Unless, you know, it maybe it might be a really good cruiser player and they're hitting me and then I'll try to disengage. But yeah, pretty much, dude, I, I just never, never stop firing. There's just no reason for me to stop usually. But like I said, we're at 54,000 damage and we've done pretty decent up to this point. And the enemy has just completely given up. They have lost this battle drastically. There's nothing they could do. And there's only two ships left and the match is coming to an end. And, uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Um, but, like I said, um, I really do enjoy this ship. And if you guys really want, if you guys don't like torpedoing, if you guys miss a lot, you know, if you guys really do miss, if you like shooting, but, you know, you get blown up in these ships, you know, maybe you're, if you're a battleship player or a cruiser player and you just, you just can't figure out, maybe these American gunboats are for you. American gunboats are really, really good. and You really have to just try them on your own. But see how I'm playing them here. I just don't stop firing, but I'm smart about it, too. I'm not going to, you know, always fire. If I'm about to die, I'm going to try to disengage and survive. But, you know, they're really enjoyable. They're really enjoyable. They're, they're like in between a battleship and a cruiser. Just that little in between. They're just really fun. Keep in mind, though, I still could torp, but I just, I really don't do it much this game. I do manage to hit a couple, but there's just nobody that's really pushing me. So I have no reason to torp. Now we're slowly climbing up and... Yeah, the match is coming to a to a pretty swift end. It's been a quick one, but yeah, we just did we did our job. We killed the one of the enemy destroyers, and ultimately we're gonna win this match because of it. And uh, it's just been a really really enjoyable match, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And we're just gonna keep unleashing the fire on this on this poor battleship. And look at it again, someone steals our kill like always. Not much you can do about it, but you know whatever. So 
Um, I wanted to fire torpedoes at the shipwreck of him, but I just didn't feel like it. So, um, Blitz Kawika pops up, and it's too late. He's about to die, or the match is about to end, and there he goes. And that was just a really enjoyable match, and I, I really, really, really love these American gunboats. That's why I really want to get to Tier 7, and I do have it. So, expect a video, maybe not tomorrow, because we just did a gunboat video just now, but maybe sometime in the future. Or, guys, put in the chat what you guys want are in the comments and I will look forward to, to reading and replying, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to punch the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay healthy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.